check whether advanced restart button is available or not let's see here as you can see advanced restart button is available directly i am booting into recovery if you don't have that you can use the power and volume up button to boot into recovery here comes the recovery i'm using orange fox latest recovery if you want you can use any other but recommended this one and pitch black latest recovery you can use as you can see it's booted into orange fox recovery once that has been booted go to here delete section and select dalvi catcher system vendor data and swipe here to wipe later go into files go to file section and wherever you downloaded the files there you select the aosp sapphire and this is the latest build available 2022 and 128 january so if you have to flash this is the rom it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed once the rom zip has been flashed again go to files and select this if crypt disable v3 zip file flash this in order to be deep crypted or if you want to be encrypted you can format data and reboot the system in this step you can skip and again go to here and select reboot and go to system it takes a little bit of time to boot for first time wait until it gets booted and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and then here comes the logo in this video we'll be going to see about this rom and features bugs bgma gameplay everything will be explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys sampathi you are watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is the project sapphire alpha paranoid android version with 5th january 2022 security device and here comes the android 12 based custom rom this is for redmi note 7 pro and the kernel used here is 4.14.190 puff g3 something you can read it here this is the latest build with january 28 2022 latest build available with latest security patch and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can check out here the maximum is 149 and average is 132 and minimum is 105 and cpu throttle to 80 percent of its maximum performance good but lately it has become throttled let's see how is the actual performance and benchmark results before going that i will show you the dialer here let me disable the silent mode i'll keep it here this is the volume panel however you can see here and there is direct video call feature is available in the geo many people ask about this see the video guys you will come to know and there is no call recording feature in this rom and coming to widgets and it's an android 12 based widget let's see sorry android 12 based rom let's see the widgets into the clock you will get the android 12 material you design type of widgets are available here if you want you can change them later also those things are given in this rom and coming this the quick settings panel edit you will get some of the options like dark theme if i drag like this you can add here like that you can add from here go into settings these are the basic settings you get in this rom into the battery you get like this settings it's simple simple like pixel experience aosp roms any roms you have already seen this is also similar to that and uh, let's the battery usage has not calculated for first put if i and coming into notifications you get all the basic settings like bubbles conversations device and app notifications and do not disturb like all the options are given even enhanced and notifications is also you can enable or disable from here into the app settings you get default apps here if you want to choose a true color as a dialer you can change from here from the default apps app. like this special app access is also given you can plenty of options you can change from here into the sound settings you get all the basic settings here touch vibration feedback you can enable or disable from here into the display settings you get adaptive brightness it's also working fine let me show you let me turn off the light here it should reduce as you can see it reduced to 67 percent when i turn it on it goes to 90 100 percent that adaptive brightness is working fine and coming to 
dark theme and font size display size also you can adjust from it night light feature is also given colors features is given you can use the rgb strength some of the features missing here double tap to wake is also given let me show you the dark theme this is how the dark theme applied and into the app drawer you get like this and into the quick settings like this and finally in this other settings panel you get when dark theme has been applied there is no themes to adjust like pitch black like that but anyhow this is how it's given and accessibility menu you will get the under 12 based no there is no accessibility menu in this room it's missing magnification dark theme extra dim system controls vibration haptic feedback those things you can enable or disable from here into the security settings you get just fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock or anything like that let me show you the fingerprint unlock okay just tap unlock it takes half a second to unlock but it's fine enough to have and you will get this kind of snapdragon camera you can ignore that just a basic camera i have installed here ng cam nikta g cam if you want you can use any g cam ports arnova g cam or any g cam ports you can use it out all are going to working fine even if you want to use a next camera that also you can flash in this rom this is the project sapphire alpha paranoid android based on android 12 and let's see the app reviews let's start with 3d mark results as you can see it's 477 score and 99 percent your score is better than 99 percent of the scores and graphs you can see here and coming to anti to benchmark results you get 2,69,000 like that let me show you as you can see 2,69,552 pretty good score and the temperature raise is just 1.7 degree celsius and 4 percent battery is drained and coming to geekbench 5 as you can see the single score is 486 and multi score is 1320 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.10 perf you can read it out here with and at all this is a score is not great but definitely it's not bad also that's what i notice is daily driver rom very good rom you can definitely try it out and there's all the speech test i'm using geo giga fiber connection and i using 2.4 gigahertz hence it's limited to only 50 mbps like that and um, with mobile internet also the carrier aggregation all are working fine and regarding google photos unlimited storage watch down the my pinned comment there i have been explaining from now onwards and let's see the bgma gameplay without wasting any time this is how the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra and hd and i if you want you can use gfx tool to enable the 60 fps gameplay I'm showing with Smooth Plus Ultra itself. Let's see how is the performance in this ROM. And this full volume, you can judge. And if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like, guys. Many people watching videos but not subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you like the video, give it a like. Okay, I'll come back. It's definitely playable, no problem in the BGMA also. If you are a hardcore gamer, then you can choose the gaming ROMs. That's fine in this ROM also. And let me show you the 
charging animation how it will come just simple charging animation you will get I'm using 10 watt charger and let's see I forgot to tell this settings here into system you will get this gestures here gesture navigation there is no button to increase the gesture navigation bar length and radius those are also missing it's simple enough it's a simple AOSP type of custom round swipe to screenshot is given in this ROM as you can see this is the project sapphire beta paranoid android 12 based custom ROM for redmi note 7 pro with january latest security patch i hope i explained everything and this all the recent apps you can select from here and no the, you can take a screenshot from here no select option this all the rom and thank you for watching guys this video if you like the video give it a like and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now